Welcome to Anywhere Math. I'm Jeff Jacobson, and today we're going to talk about direct variation. Let's get started. Okay, before we get to an example, let's talk about direct variation for a moment. Uh, two quantities, x and y, would show direct variation if you can write them in an equation like this, where y equals kx. If you can write an equation like that, then you would say x and y show direct variation. If not, if you've got something extra like minus 1 or plus 7, then they're not showing direct variation. Okay. Now this k, uh, this k we call the constant of proportionality, proportionality, it's a long word, constant of proportionality, it's also basically just the slope of the line, okay, if you graph it, that's what that represents, it's just the slope of the line, okay, let's get to an example, example one, tell whether x and y show direct variation. So we have uh, a two, two problems we're going to do. First one, we've got a table, x and y. We've got some x values. We've got some y values. Uh, notice there's no equation. So we're not going to do it that way to see if we can, if we can write the equation with y equals kx. Um, instead, what we're going to do is we are going to graph them. So I'm just going to make a quick, a quick little sketch uh, on my x axis I just got one two three on my y I guess I'm sorry I need to go negative let me redo that so I'll do all four quadrants one two three two three and then let's go uh, two four zero negative two negative four okay uh, so first First uh, ordered pair, 1, negative 2, so 1, negative 2 would be there. Then 2, 0, 2, 0 would be there. And then 3, 2 would be there. Okay, connect my points. And the line looks something like that. Now, one other thing, for x and y to have direct variation, if you graph it, the line has to go through the origin. Okay, that's really important. You should write that down. Um, it has to go through the origin. And the reason, if you think about it, if the equation needs to look like that, if x is 0, well, what does y have to be? y has to be 0 as well, because 0 times any number will give you 0, right? So here, Notice the line does not go through my origin. It does not go through 0, 0. So x and y here, do they show direct variation? And the answer is no, they do not. Okay. Let's try b. So same thing. Let's uh, graph the points. And for this, they're both positive, which is nice. So I'm just going to do the first quadrant. Uh, and that will be, let's go 2, 4, 2, 4. First point is at the origin, 0, 0, right there. Then I've got 2, 2, which is there. 4, 4, which is up there. Draw my line. Doesn't have to be perfect. But again, notice this time my line does go through the origin. And I can see right here, there's the origin right there anyway. Uh, so really, I didn't even need to graph it. I could have noticed that. Um, so yes, in this situation, x and y do show direct variation. Okay, let's try another example. All right, example two, same thing. Tell whether x and y show direct variation, but we're going to tell it uh, in a different way. We're not going to graph each of these equations. We're not going to graph the line. Instead, we're going to look to see if we can get the equation to look like y equals kx. To do that, we're trying to get y alone, which means we're solving for y. Okay, so maybe if you want to put a little uh, star here, solve for y. 
that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to get Y alone, right? We're isolating Y. So here we go. Hopefully you remember some a little bit of algebra. Uh, notice I'm solving for Y. I'm trying to get Y alone. It's not alone. We have this plus 1. So I need to get rid of that plus 1. And I do that by subtracting 1. Anything I do to one side, I have to do to the other. So subtract 1 here. Uh, that becomes 0, goes away. And I get Y equals 2X minus 1. So now... Uh, the question, does it show direct variation? Does it look like y equals kx? Almost. It almost does. If I didn't have that minus 1 there, it would. But because I have this 2x minus 1, no. x and y in this situation do not show direct variation because of this minus 1. Notice there's no minus anything here. Okay, It's just kx. Um, let's look at the next one. So 1 half y equals x. Again, I'm solving for y. I'm trying to get y alone. Right now it's being multiplied by 1 half. So to get rid of that 1 half, I could divide by a half. But dividing by a fraction is the same thing as multiplying by its reciprocal. The reciprocal of 1 half is 2 over 1, which is 2. So to solve, I'm just going to do, I've got 1 half y. I'm going to multiply by 2 over 1. Anything I do to one side, I have to do the other. So that's going to become 2x, 2 times x. And this works because, right, the 2s will cancel each other out. And I basically get 1y, which is just y, which is great, all by itself, which is what I want, equals 2x. In this situation, does that look like what I wanted? y equals kx. Absolutely. My uh, constant for proportionality is 2. k is 2 here. Um, I have y equals on the one side. There's the x. So in this situation, yes, x and y do show direct variation. Okay. Here's something to try on your own. Thank you so much for watching, and if you like this video, please subscribe.